this episode we visit a huge abandoned radio optical telescope. Our trip starts bad with an 8 hour delay in Moscow. We're bored to death, my god. Another hour delay. Oh, it's a bad start of the trip. Man. Woo! We finally arrived in Armenia. So it's now 4.30. Yeah. In the morning to Slir. We're supposed to arrive at 8.30 in the evening. But we're lucky with the weather, that's the good thing, you know? So... <laughs> well, we hope we've got some dry weather because we got some really nice locations where yes, uh, the drone is actually mandatory. So. Outdoor stuff, correct. Yeah. We finally arrived and we deserved some sleep. The next morning another surprise awaits us. We're cruising in the mountains, there is unexpected snow, even the locals say it's unusual for the time of the year. The roads are getting worse and worse. Yeah, <laughs> most of the trucks are standing still, yes. they can't continue. No, still in re really bad condition. Still 40 kilometers to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, but the scenery is great. It is, definitely. Getting worse oh yeah, and look worse. here. Oh no. Oh my god, all the cars getting stuck. Yeah, and we have to decide what we do now. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh we don't have god. a 4x4, four four, you know, it's just a yes. city car. <laughs> we already tried to visit several locations, but we couldn't get there because it was just too okay. much snow and. Uh, roads are blocked. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> Everyone is turning. Yeah, we have to go back. So we're stuck in the snow. Everyone is turning around. I don't know what the hell everyone is doing. Uh, I have to make way for this guy going yeah. down. All right, this is, uh, this is the, end. the end of the day. No locations in the mountains. We had some nice stuff, but as you can see, it's not possible. Make a U-turn. No! A <laughs> U-turn? It's not <laughs> even possible, you know? <laughs> now it's getting a bit better. Yeah. We're on the same road we came from yesterday, and people already tell us the road is closed. This is actually the second and last option we have. To get back to Yerevan. Yeah. That doesn't look too promising at the moment. It would be really shitty yeah. if we got stuck here. Yeah. What an adventure, man. No locations, only traveling. <laughs> Surviving. The snow finally starts to melt and on our last day we have a little time left to explore our main target. Wow. So this is the mirror telescope. The whole area is super cool. I mean, it's yeah. melting snow. You can see all the lines. Crazy. And this is unfinished, right? This one. It's a mirrored uh, radar. I understood. Unfinished. Really expensive to make. Those tiles, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's super nice. Let's check. Oh, there are the other buildings as well. Yeah. yeah it's a whole complex. It's huge. It's a really big complex. Paris Haruni created a mirror radio telescope, which was one of the most powerful radio telescopes at its time. I found a roof here. Yeah, I see, man. My god, we finally arrived and it started to snow. Oh. Ice, rain, wet snow, cold. So it's uh, not ideal conditions. No. But still the experience counts, right? Yeah, That's yeah, the most of course. Thing but we can't make a decent video. So as always, Bob is making his way up as far as he can. Rusty stairs or not, he doesn't care. I think the camera is getting too wet. Shitty. Thank <laughs> you.
Maybe we should try to go inside somewhere because it's yeah exactly it's snowing pretty bad now. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> it was good in Yerevan, but later on it started to get worse and worse. Yeah. So we just entered the building where the scientists used to work, but I see these panels here. You see, you recognize from the outside. These are from the mirror telescope. It seems like they stored all the mirrors here. So you can see it was like unfinished, but they already prepared the panels. Yeah. It was crazy to see the whole building was stacked with these panels. Scavengers uh, yeah. looted the place from silver and gold. Yeah, all the knowledge is lost. Yeah, shame. So, what does it say, Bob? Well, can you explain what it is? <laughs> I'm a rocket scientist. <laughs> yeah, it's my primary job. <laughs> First intact equipment that you see here. Yeah. It's also cool. A miniature, a newborn one, all white. All right, we're heading to the basement. Just, Just to check if there's yeah. something else. Uh, Maybe there's something interesting. Pretty big building. It is. It doesn't look like that from the outside, but... No. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is really a dark room, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you design it like this, you know? Well, and, glue, about it. and glue each piece of paper separately on the wall. <sighs> oh, yeah, and these big sheets are covered to the ceiling, I think. Yeah. yeah. And the whole room is covered with these things. And there's also like a machine standing. Yeah. Machine. Even that one is covered. Correct. You see? With some plastic. Yeah. Wheel these things over these separate railings they have. I wonder what it was. Trying to get inside the nicest building. Just let's give it a go, man. Yeah, I'm just trying to try quickly. <laughs> oh, look at those the scale models. Oh, that's nice. You know, this whole trip is such a struggle. <sighs> it's so nice to find something like this, you know? Yeah. So, this is a scale model of the whole side. There's more equipment here. This one is in a better condition. Still looted, but not as much as the other one. It's a big drawing table here. Oh yeah. It's super nice. Wow. And now it's just rotting. No, Such but it's a shame. Yeah, it is. We're now walking to the main control room. And we're literally on the red carpet. Isn't that oh, really? <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Nothing is wow. stolen. It's really majestic. It even has a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one over there. Wow. It's great. Yeah, this makes my day. Yeah, for sure.
and look here from the inside to the outside. Look. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, the nice. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So from here they can control the angle of the thingy in the dome, yeah. and they can process and, and analyze all the data generated with it. Oh, look, another one bob here. Really? It doesn't stop. Look at the DC screens. <laughs> So we have five control panels and again a nice view on the technical building we visited uh, earlier today. Mm -hmm. Which was nice as well, but this one is over yeah. the top I think. <laughs> this is the best. Alright, we say goodbye to this amazing control. Yes, yeah, one of the best uh, we've ever found I think. Yeah. Also the whole yeah. entrance it through the so building. Much effort. Yeah, super nice. It started to rain again. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You can't describe the size of this thing. <laughs> Alright? It's crazy. To get down, I think we have to come back in summer. Where the, size? the adjustable yeah. antenna. You can see the engines for it are here. With these ropes, they could slightly adjust it from the control yeah. room we just seen. So just too bad that it start raining again. Again, yeah. But still. Maybe you can go up with the drone in just a few minutes. Yeah. This radio optical telescope was designed and built between 1975 and 1985 by a Radio Physics Research Institute and the telescope has a span of 174 feet. We wanted to make a lot of nice drone footage, but because of the rain, we decided to make a cruise shot only.